Hello guys, welcome. Uh, today I'll be showing you um, little tips on how to use this blend, this template. Um, let's jump into work without much talk. So first of all, side clearance, which is over here. You click and then you come over here, you hit it and... Okay. Most of you should have seen how I was, how I calculated this earlier before. So... Is just to clear the sides, clear the sides. But uh, you know, normally before you start, you just have to scale the drawing. But you can see it's, it's uh, scaled already. So we're yeah, taking off. So as you can see, we're we're done taking off for this. Um, so we already have our side clearance, and now to take. Oh. So the next analysis is uh, excavation. So for excavation, you see the template has already been made in such a way that you could just input any details or any specification that has been um, specified in the architectural drawing or in the design and the structural drawing sorry so we we'll, we'll just put our depth let's assume that this depth was 1.2 in meters and the width 0 0.69 in width so um, so for this purpose now we're just going to measure out the external you zoom in a bit. All right, so for excavation, you know, you could decide to go this way, but I, for me, I decide, to, I, I love taking it up directly, not just coming over here and take off and, uh, Come over here and take off. You double click. You come over here and take off and double click. I don't like taking off for excavation this way. Most times I prefer doing it directly. So I'm going to do it my way. Okay, for the purpose of this tutorial. So now let's take it my way. Same 1.2. And okay, so you could just take it this way. You take it this way. Take it this way. So we're done. You could decide to now take in for internal walls if you want to. But the same method, as you can see, I already have everything solved here. The backfilling, the disposal, the level on compacting, the blinding and trenches, the concrete footing, the earthwork support. Okay, so let's go down to pit excavation. Assuming the longer side is 1.2 meters, the shorter side, assuming is 0 0.6, assuming the depth is uh, 0 0.6, and then you click on input. Assuming the thickness is 0 0.23, 
Then for the reinforcement bars, they're using Y12. They're using 8mm. Then you select. Then the bar weights, let's just zoom. But this are actually, um, some of this diameters in, uh, in kg. So center to center, you select. That is the difference between one bar to the other bar. So let's use so uh, 0 0.15, the number of column base. Um, we don't need to input that. Vertical bends, this is all. Um, 0 0.2. This is on two. But all of this, you're going to get some of this in your drawings. All you need to do is just to input them. I'm just showing you how you could use this appropriately. So when you're done, you click on the OK, and then you begin to count. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight. So assuming these are the columns we have and the column base, you're already done. Hmm? So with this, you will see now that when you click over here, you're going to see everything has been solved automatically. Okay? So, assuming... We're doing uh, the hardcore filling. Let's assume we just fill over here. You see, the good thing about this template is it has already told you the tool you're going to use. All you just need to do is to look at the structural drawings. So let's assume we're just taking you know, from here to here. And this is the hardcore filling. Square meters. So assuming this is it. You see. Also. So for it not having laterite filling is because we have not input something over here. Which is the thickness. So assuming the, lat the laterite filling. You could actually use the thickness that was specified. So let's use the 0 0.35. So immediately you do this, you could see already have everything here intact. What's good about this template is that it is customizable to fit whatsoever design you have. Okay. So for the foundation, for the block work in foundation also, this is why you need this template. It makes work very fast and very, very easy. All you just need to do is look at your structural drawings and get this going. So for the wall weight, for the wall height, you assuming we have 1.2, so sorry for my inconsistency G2. Incomplete drawings, I'm just using this drawing to show you how you could use this template to your benefit. So assuming the width is um, 0 0.23, yeah, that is the width. So let's look at the input. Okay, I think we're good to go. Okay, so now when you're taking off a block walk, you already know this is blocks. You could decide to do all of this, but uh, sometimes I prefer taking it off completely. So let's assume you take it to this, take it to this, you take all of this, all right? Let's assume we take up to this. So we are done with this. So you could see over here that we have 143.4 square meters. So you, you could do this also, you see, you already have everything here. So. I wonder why some people complain that they can't use the template because the template makes everything easy and 
you could customize everything.